What's going on, gamers? Today we're back with a little bit more Cyberpunk 2077. One can be going over today is some of the coolest looking weapons in the game to really set you apart from the rest. So if you want to look awesome as you go about your day and just destroy everyone, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you gamers to their night city we're going to be going over some of the coolest looking weapons these are going to be the things you chuck on if you want to be absolutely ghetto fabulous and have some great fashion sense about yourself also some of them have some great additional features so well worth having now whilst I'm showing you these don't worry too much about the damage I'm not set up for that so you'll be doing a lot more than me we're going to be going over the melee weapons first and kicking it off we're going to have the gold plated baseball bat now the gold plated baseball bat makes you look absolutely worth a million dollars, it is completely decked out in gold, has some crazy jutting out bits at the top, how this one's non-lethal I have no idea. Negan would be proud of you if you take a hold of this as you go around completely smashing your enemies to pieces. Also a great additional feature because it's an iconic, every time you hit an enemy they're going to have a plus 100% chance to apply a bleed. This is just crazy good. It does some nice bit of damage, it hits your foes pretty hard and applies that bleed each time, which is just a great effect going on. Meaning that even if you don't knock them for six straight away, they're probably gonna fall over to that bleed effect going on. Nice bit of damage and very blinged out, you can't go wrong with the gold plated baseball bat. Next up, we have the black unicorn. This one is a little bit different to get hold of because it's the only one where you've got to actually join up to a site and it's the GOG site. It's going to show you on your front page for Cyberpunk exactly what you've got to do. Go down to your rewards, join up to where it tells you to and then you'll be rewarded back at your stash with the black unicorn and a few other features. This in my personal opinion is bar none the best looking melee weapon in the game. I love the effects of it, it's got kind of a digital glowing effect going on the blade and it just looks absolutely awesome. It does the job, your build pretty much carries you in this game anyway, unfortunately it isn't classed as an iconic so it doesn't have any special effects but it does look amazing as you chop your foes to pieces and like I said personally I think this one's probably the best katana in the game for looks. So if you want to set yourself apart from the rest this will be the one you chuck on your build. Now jumping over to the smart weapons and we're going to kick it off with Divided We Stand. This smart assault rifle is completely different to probably any of the other weapons in the game because you're not actually going to be trying to beat them with the smart guided bullets. Instead the bullets have a chance to actually spawn a chemical explosion and you're going to try and beat your enemies with chemical effects instead. Quite a fun thing to do especially if there's mobs of enemies. But also the actual gun itself looks pretty awesome. Nice little design on the magazine. I thought the gun was originally gold but it's actually orange but I think it's got overall a pretty nice effect going on with it. Like I said a little bit different to other smart rifles and weapons you're going to be tracking your enemies but hoping to get that exactly there that little clad sorry bystander that was an accident and then everything is going to get nuked in that clad or chemical effect. Rather than trying to take them out with crit damage, you're probably going to be going for that effect and having a lot of fun as you see that pop and hope that all of the enemies pass through it and get a lot of chemical damage as they do. This one with a few mods on can be a lot of fun to play and probably a very different playstyle than you're used to. Another one that I have to go over is going to be the Smart Pistol Skippy. Skippy is just like no other gun. Even though it looks a little bit similar, so as you can see here it doesn't look outstanding so I haven't picked it just for a fashion accessory. It is the only gun in the game that is its self-contained AI. This gun's going to be talking to you as you go, it's going to have a little bit of a quest line to it and it's actually one of the best guns in the game, if not the best gun in the game, for getting headshots. If you want to be a crit master, if you want to take people out with headshots, this is probably the gun for you. Now I probably chose the wrong gang to mess with here because they're the Tiger Claw and I think sometimes it screws up your actual targeting but as you can see that guy's taken the full force and this gun does the business. I'm not specced out at all and already I'm taking things down without worrying too much and having the gun talk to me as I go is just an added benefit. A lot of fun to use and pretty much the only weapon in the game that's got this effect. 
Jumping over to the tech weapons and we kick it off with the Widowmaker. I have always had a special place for the Widowmaker, I just love the way it looks and I love the way it actually feels. A great gun, even if you're not the best with accuracy like myself, most of the time it doesn't matter because it's going to do some chemical damage as well, or it can also apply poison. That means even if you don't manage to crack off a headshot, usually the enemy is going to fall over from one of those. But as you can see here looking at it, it's just an awesome looking weapon. Definitely one you'll want in your arsenal. It's a tech precision rifle, so you can take your headshots, you can take a bit of time, get those off, or you could just go to town, take a few taps. Probably don't want to miss like that, but like I said, you don't have to be quite as accurate with this, because you're going to apply effects to them. So if you want to line it up, take an absolute age, you can do, and they're going to fall over with massive damage, or you can just crack a few shots through walls, and apply those effects, hoping to take them down with damage over time. This is actually a very versatile gun, and can be used pretty much close range mid or long. Although since they've changed over the fact you can't put a scope on it, you're probably going to stick to mid or short. Now for the ultimate fashion accessory, this one's more like having a designer bag than an actual weapon, and that's the Senko LX. This weapon is much this weapon is much better than I gave it credit for. Being very compact, having that designer logo on the side, and another one that's very blinktastic, from the looks of it, you'd think this weapon is not all that great. However, when you use it in combat, it goes to tan and nukes everything. You can hold the trigger down and do massive, massive amounts of damage. I'm not set out for a tech build, and you can already take most things down. With thousands upon thousands of damage. As you saw there though, the little burst fire doesn't go through the cover, so if you are trying to go through cover, make sure you're holding that trigger then. Jumping over to the power weapons, and we've got probably my favourite one, and that's the Malorian Arms 3516. This is Johnny's gun, when I first picked this up, I pretty much used it once and switched straight off it because I was doing more damage than my others. But look at the size of that weapon, it is a sight to behold and an absolute single handed boomstick. Also after using it a lot more, I realised that I was using it completely wrong. You're going to go in, use your melee, it's going to pull off a fire area effect, that's going to do crazy amounts of damage. I probably did more damage with the actual AoE than I did with shooting people in the face. But if you want to mix up your combat, use close range, hit them with your melee and go in with the headshots, this may be the one for you. I went from never using this to actually thinking it's probably one of the best guns in the game. Mix up your combat, have a lot of fun with it, and you'll find it does a lot of damage with that AoE and you look cool while you do it. Next up, and probably not going to be everyone's choice, but Dying Knight. I think this is just a really cool looking weapon. It's another very compact one, it does additional headshot damage, and it looks pretty nice. So if you have a little look here, you can chuck a silencer on it. I am going to be using this completely wrong in this footage, so apologies in advance, but you'll probably want a setup that allows you to have a little bit of stealth, and then you're gonna get the most of your headshots and such. But with this weapon, even if you haven't, you're gonna be able to pull off quite a lot of hits because it's very fast, because it's very fast firing. And it's got a great reload time, which is another thing that makes this an awesome weapon. If you want to dip in and out of combat, reload fast, and do quite a nice amount of damage with rapid fire, you very well can do. Or you can just aim for the headshots, which I'm showing you how not to do it here, and try and get a bit of damage in stealth when you're out of combat. Now as a bonus weapon, because I've just realised I've had quite a lot of pistols on, we're going to go for the bloody Maria. This shotgun is awesome, absolutely awesome, probably my favourite shotgun in the game because of what it does and because of its overall looks. This one is completely decked out, you're going to look awesome with this. But the main features, it has so much knockback. Every time you shoot things, they're going to fall over, they're going to get knocked around, it knocks off limbs because its perk is to give you additional knockback and limb damage, it's just ridiculous. It's 
as you can see here, I knock him down and I'm reloading while he's on the floor. Look at the motions as they go, slow-mo makes it even funnier. You could probably take another shot in the air, which I missed out on on that one, but this one is an absolute beast. For knockdown damage, for going about just decimating your foes and having a lot of fun looking cool with a shotgun, Bloody Maria is probably the best overall choice in the game. Well, you gamers, let me know if you think I've missed any off the list. Obviously, everyone's going to have their personal opinions, and there's a lot of awesome weapons in the game. So if there's any you think I've missed, chuck in the comments. But as always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox. Take care. I'll see you on the next day.